This is a Canon C200 cinema camera that shoots in cinema raw. This is an iPhone XS Max that apparently is one of the best video cameras on a cell phone. You ready for this? So I stripped this entire camera down so I just shot with the brain itself and a lens on the front. Now I shot in Canon Cinema Raw Light, so it is a raw format that is shot inside this camera. And I shot in C-Log3. Now with the iPhone, what I've done is I shot with the camera app that is built into this. So no extra settings at all. Now what I'm gonna do is play the same video twice and let's see if you can tell which camera is which. Could you tell which one was the iPhone or which one was shot on a cinema camera? Leave in the comments below now which one you think was the iPhone and why, which shot was it that really let it down? Okay, before I actually tell you which one was which, let's take a quick look at the two different files as they came out of the camera. So this here is the C200 in RAW, then I did a color grade that looks like this. And this is straight out of the iPhone app. And this is what happens when I added the color grade to that. So right off the bat, personally, I am super impressed with how well this did. Now it does have some serious downfalls that we're gonna get into in a minute, but just to let you know, camera one was the iPhone and camera two was actually the C200. I'm also doing an awesome giveaway at the end of this video, so be sure to stick around for that. So let's break it down and have a look at some of the details here. You can see if we zoom in on the log here, the iPhone is on the top and the highlights are completely blown out, whereas in the C200, the details are still there. And then as we look up to where the sky is behind her head, you can see that in the iPhone, it's completely white and blown out, although there's still some blue sky, whereas the one below the C200, all the detail is there in the cloud. And look at the details of her face. Her face on the C200 is nice and clear. You can see texture in the skin, the shadows and everything there. And if you look on the iPhone, what you can actually see is that her skin looks completely flat. And actually, if you look at the shoulders, you can see that the sharpening is kind of mixed in the trees with her shoulders. The dynamic range. I don't know how Apple has managed to pull out so much dynamic range from this. Let's look at these two shots just here. The sunlight is directly behind the tree, yet we still have detail in her face, which is pretty damn incredible from a cell phone. And the same thing here with the trees. We've still got details in those shadows, even though the sunlight is coming straight through the trees. For me, there was one major place that the iPhone really just fell behind, and that's when it comes to its sharpening. Apple has added so much sharpening to the final image that it's almost unbearable. We look at this shot here, the details in the trees and in her face is so incredibly sharp. And for some of you, you might really like this, but compared to the C200, it looks far more cinematic. That little bit of softness really helps with skin tones and makes the whole image look far more pleasant. As a filmmaker, I think it's really important to point out that it's the creativity of the artist which is important, not the equipment that they use. But the equipment can 
be helpful. So the big differences here is the iPhone is supposed to be something that you can shoot with and straight off the app inside the camera, it's gonna look fantastic. In fact, that entire opening sequence was shot on the iPhone. Something like a cinema camera with a C200, this is part of a workflow. You then have to use post-production, you have to use color grading, you have to roll out all of the detail from the dynamic range and everything, a lot more work, but the results are better. And now it's giveaway time. I'm giving away a copy of my complete suites of video LUTs. Now this is over 200 different LUTs to completely color grade your videos. And the great thing is, this also works inside Lightroom and Photoshop on your images. So all you have to do to win this prize is give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Now I'm also giving every single person that watches this video 50% off my complete LUTs pack. All you have to do is use the code iPhone XS in the shopping cart. The link to these video looks is in the description or just head over to photosincolor.com. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and the comparison between the iPhone and this C200. I gotta tell you, I thought the results were awesome. Thanks so much for watching.